Yes, yeah, so ladies and gentlemen, it is finally time for the top coat. Uh, I think some of you were actually pretty interested in, in finally seeing this video or see what actually could be accomplished uh, by using the Total Boat products here. So uh, I am using Total Boat. Uh, it's called Total Boat, excuse me, Total Boat Top Side Paint. Uh, there's actually two different versions of the white, uh, which I was not aware of initially. Uh, I bought a gallon of the regular Arctic white and then inadvertently towards the very end I wanted to do one final coat and I wound up getting a blue glow white or something along those lines but it worked out perfectly uh, just mixed it up with some of the remainder of the paint that I had in the first gallon and that final top coat actually came out really really nice so the same thing I did with the primer uh, I did thin it down with some special brushing, brushing thinner uh, from Total Boat, of course. Did the 10% reduction. Came out absolutely perfect. Uh, the consistency is, is a lot like water, if not even better than uh, with the thinner in there. And you're doing the same thing with the primer. You're doing very, very light coats um, using the mohair rollers that I had mentioned in the primer video and just did very, very, very thin coats. The Total Boat paint is actually very, uh, it, I think the way they put it is, you know, it has a lot of solids in it. Uh, so it, it's not like you need to cake it on. And I think if you look at the results here, doing three top coats total over the primer and sanding in between with 220 grit uh, to rough it up and then going through each time with some dewaxer again just to make sure you know of any oily uh, fingerprints I may have left on there so it didn't affect the paint job it actually came out really really well um, you know if somebody told you that you can't paint a car or a boat or a camper with a, a roller uh, you can if you follow the directions <laughs> so uh, I wanted it I didn't like it looking just white uh, I wasn't very appreciative of that color, so I decided I wanted to do uh, some sort of graphics or something to kind of jazz up the sides just to keep it from looking like a plain white box on the back of my truck. And I wound up getting these uh, vinyl car stickers off of Amazon. Uh, now the vinyl that is used, uh, it's actually a specific vinyl, it's a UV protected vinyl it's basically four vehicles and uh, they came out really really well no air bubbles so I'm pretty proud about that and actually yeah I think it looks good with the paint job and just kind of jazzes it up just a little bit now the next thing I had to do on the outside was I wanted to put some uh, lights on it some clearance lights so I went around just measured I figured out exactly where I wanted the holes and then went ahead and pre-drilled uh, two holes for the wires to run through to the inside of the camper. And then I'm using this rod here in order to just kind of poke all the way through, make sure I had a nice clean hole. Because at this point I'm basically going through two and a quarter, maybe two and a thirds of an inch uh, into the camper. So I've got the uh, outside five millimeters of plywood the several coats of the fiberglass paint and then on the inside there's an, another uh, on this particular back side of the wall is another piece of five millimeter plywood so i just wanted to make sure i had a good clean hole in order to prep pass those wires through uh, nice and clean like went ahead and tested each one of the clearance lights number one just to make sure i had the right color because they are smoked black and uh, also too just to make sure they worked before i went through the process of wiring them up and connecting to the outside of the camper so after testing them just went ahead and fed the wire straight through and after that pre-drilled the uh, holes for the screws to attach also and then I also went ahead and added a little bit of uh, Gorilla Glue construction adhesive to the back side and that was more to kind of uh, just to seal up those holes for the wires uh, but also to just to add a little bit of extra holding you know, kind of over edge during the crap out of it, so to speak. And uh, they actually came out really good. So, yeah, here you can just see me put a little bit of adhesive there on the back just to help stick it to the wall there and to seal up the wire holes. And then when I was all finished, got it lined up, made sure it was right, drilled out the holes, put the screws in. So, yeah, here we are. Got all four lights since, uh, four, excuse me. <laughs> 
got all seven lights installed. Uh, one on each quarter, two reds in the back, two uh, ambers up on the front corners, and then three ambers across the, uh, the top there. And then, of course, two lights on the back side of the trailer for turn signal, running, and stop. And I just went ahead and wired up a four pin connector on it, and that will run down to my truck, which actually has the dual ports uh, for trailer wiring. So that made it very, very easy. Uh, of course, you're also seeing here, kind of cheated a little bit, you're seeing some windows installed and the door installed. Uh, there's going to be another video coming up here soon about that, but I was just really excited to show you what I've done.